guys welcome back to my allotment diaries my name is emma this is my little version of vlogmas um, i'm just trying to vlog as much as i can in uh december that's the month we're in <laughs> oh god it's been busy as you can imagine with two kids december is always quite a busy time um, but i wanted to get here today and do my strawberry plants because they the bed's just looking a complete mess somebody uh, left a comment mentioning that i should be thinning them out sorting them out so that they don't get diseased um, and that's the last thing I want to happen in the summer. So I'm going to thin them out, tidy them up, get the weeds away, um, and sort out the strawberry bed today. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know where my bloody gloves are, because I lost them a few weeks ago when I tidied my shed up. I shouldn't have tidied my shed up, really, because I knew where everything was, even though it's a mess. You know when you just know where everything is? Now I've lost everything, so it's like... I have to do it with like my bare hands, like a, like a feral animal. It's just not here, it's just not anywhere. I probably need some kind of shovel thing, spade, whatever, whatever you call that device. I don't bloody know. Somebody's stolen them, they're so bloody mad at like that fictional person. This is my idea of tidying my shed. So down the bottom here I've got that thing from the bulbs, dahlias there, and then I've got all the rubbish like down there which you know might be useful i don't call it rubbish i call it supplies and then here i've sort of got pots and string and stuff and the saw and the scissors and that and then on this one i've got like liquidy stuff so i've got like all my seaweed feed mosquito killer you know fungus killer thing i've got this from i ordered this from amazon and it came from spain i don't even know what it bloody says fungus cider Polyvanilanente Systemico Now I've just insulted everyone in Spain um, But it's some kind of fungus killer Don't know what bloody hell that is But it didn't do anything, it just burnt everything So I'm not using that again um, Old cups, glasses, all the bird feeding stuff Peanut butter, don't know Seeds This is my idea of tidying guys This is why I can't bloody find anything I'm going to have to do it without gloves aren't I Oh god Right, right, I'm just going to have to go for it because I'm here now. Came all the way here, I'm just going to have to dig with my hands like a bloody fox. Right, bloody fox, turning into him. Right, so you can see the strawberry bed, it's all spilling over now, which is a good thing because these are new strawberry plants, which is excellent, that's what I want, and it's all started to multiply itself but it's all squished together and you're right if it gets a disease you know disease is just going to spread in here i also need to mulch it with something but that's for another day because i've got a plan for that i'm not going to give it away yet it should be interesting though right so i'm just going to have a look what we're working with really guys because i don't know what i'm working with i don't know what they are to be honest yeah see some of them have rooted They've root, they started to root, which is excellent. There's bloody strawberries on here. They're growing strawberries. Well, this has completely thrown me, guys, but look. There's bloody strawberries. There's bloody strawberries. Bloody December. What are these phantom strawberries? It's the middle of bloody December and I'm getting bloody strawberries. What the heck is happening? There's more over there. Some here. I did not think that I would be getting strawberries in December. Now I really don't know what to bloody do. Oh. I'm just going to get my scissors and where they've rooted I'm going to snip them like the umbilical cord so that they have to fend for themselves now. I don't know if they're going to like that but I feel like that's a good thing to do. These ones have started, look, these ones have rooted into my bloody path. Rooted into my path. <laughs> it's growing into the bloody, I don't even know what it's growing into. Into wood chip. That's weird, isn't it? I suppose I have to cut those and plant those. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thin them out. Cut away some of the crappy colour. The yellow colour. I don't know, and just see how that goes really. Yeah, I'll do that. I can't pretend to know, I know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm sort of trying to, I don't know. 
Yep, that one's happy. That one's happy. Oh, yeah, that one's happy. That one's not. Oh, this is not an easy job. I'm really struggling to see what on earth I should be pulling up and cutting. There's so many runners. I'll show you. When you look into like a pile of them, so like, say I'm here, look, it's just like dense. I can't see where the roots are. Oh, there's a pot in there. That's where I've tried to make a runner grow. Oh, I can't even get it out. <laughs> it's rooted through the pot. Yeah, that's what I sort of tried to do. Do you remember when I put the pots underneath some of them and make them grow, like, in a certain place? Yeah, that's the second pot I found. <laughs> I have to replant those over there in a minute. But, yeah, it's really hard. I, there's just so many runners and stuff everywhere. It's just so thick and dense. So I have managed to get rid of quite a lot, though. But whether that's the right stuff to get rid of or not, I don't know. It's becoming a bit of like a strawberry massacre at the moment, to be honest, because I'm just ripping it out and just, you know, I mean, looking at them, they look like really strong, versatile little plants. They're just going to grow, aren't they? They're just going to keep growing. I don't think I can kill them. Um, I think they're unkillable, actually, because even if I rip them up and throw them down, they're probably going to root again. So <laughs> I did read a little bit of advice before I started this, because sometimes I do do that. Um, and it said that on your strawberry plant, you should have one runner and then that plant is now a new plant but then that plant shouldn't have a runner as well because then the second runner plant will be bad or something it'll be weaker um so i'm trying to get rid of any runners coming on it i don't think it's the time for it to be making new plants now i think it's got to relax you know it's got to hibernate a little bit over winter so i'm trying to tell them to like chill out but you know you know what these plants are like plants don't really want to chill out do they they just want to keep bloody growing forever right let's plant these new ones out then i can't get this one out oh there we are <laughs> look at that that is a root system eh oh look at those roots i mean they're happy aren't they they're happy little plants so oh they low wormy Get back in there. Go on. Go on. In you go. In you go. And then these are some of the ones that I've just pulled out of the uh, wood chip. <sighs> just growing in the bloody wood chip. I don't know what they're doing, do they? Go on, get in there. Get. I didn't actually um, buy these plants myself. My neighbour actually gave me like six free strawberry plants um, at the beginning of spring last year. And I just whacked them in the ground. And now I've sort of got an entire bed of strawberry plants, which is just amazing because, you know, it's all free. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask for these or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Right, I'm pretty sure these are not going to ripen, but I can see that some insects are actually eating them. So I'm going to leave them for the insects to eat just to give them a little snack. Something a bit different in December, you know bit of an interesting meal for them. It's odd that they're growing strawberries, isn't it? It's weird. I don't know if this looks any better. I mean, to the eye, it looks better, but whether I've just hacked at it and it's done nothing productive, I don't know. But I... sometimes in gardening, that's, that's what you have to take. It looks better than it did before. And you can see that I have actually taken out quite a lot. So whether that's enough, I don't know. Right, I need to empty my wheelbarrow out because like an idiot, I left it the right way up and now it's full of water. Don't do that. Turn it over. Right, okay, I don't know if you can bloody see there, but my hands are frozen. try and show you as much as I can here and do as much as I can but um, obviously it's autumn winter there's not much to do but now that I had a walkabout yesterday um, I do look around my plot and I think it needs to, I think I could make it better I think I could make it neater it's not as neat as I like I'd like it to be and um, I thought I was doing pretty well until I saw other people's plots so if you can have a walk around your allotment plots and get ideas from other people because I just think it's an excellent kind of kick in the butt to like you know motivate you 
I'm wondering whether it'd be worth building a fence around my plot. Not a high fence, not like an unsociable fence, but like just a bit of a deterrent because obviously last year I had my pumpkins um, stolen from my plot and um, it really did upset me quite a lot. So I'd really, I think a little fence might just help to neaten the plot up and also deter people from coming into my plot, if you know what I mean. Right. I need to buy some bloody gardening gloves. I just want to say one thing. A lot of you in the comments keep saying to me, um, set up a fundraising thing or like a, an Amazon wish list or something. It's so kind and it just it makes me smile every time I see a comment like that. But I do not want anything from you guys. I get so much out of making these videos out of the community on here. I ask for advice and I get it like straight away. There's no, like that is my payment if you know what I mean for putting these vlogs up I enjoy making them I love that they make you happy and inspire you so I'm not asking for anything in return <laughs> however if you'd like to make a donation no I'm joking uh, so please keep your money <laughs> it's been a really tough year and um I think everyone could just do with some happiness and that's just what I'm gonna do with these vlogs just spread some happiness and stuff so yeah, anyway, thank you for um, off the offer, but no thank you. And uh, keep watching, keep enjoying, keep commenting, give me some advice, and I uh, will see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks so much for watching again. See you later. Bye.